Long time ago, a bunch of soon-to-be translators and teachers got together to build a massive tower to get a job by angering God. As you can see, they were quite successful. And let me tell you, I spoke to Nate recently, and he still feels disrespected even after so long. If you're watching this video, you are privileged. You can understand me, but not everyone shares such a talent or country of origin. But for the interactive medium, that isn't really a problem. In the past, companies would make multiple versions of their games that had different dialogues and sometimes other things. From cutting out entire levels to completely changing the name of a console, the gaming industry made sure to always stereotype everyone. But in today's internet age, most games just check what language your computer is using and load the according translation. Let's take an example. SCP Secret Lavatory is a game that nobody likes, but also a game I like talking about. And it just so happens that it contains these things. But I bet that not everyone knows how they actually work, which is a shame as they can be used for many other things such as customization or a cult. So allow me to do a deep dive into SS translations, but first we need to get one thing straight. Out of all 178 languages I can speak of, your current version of SL only supports two. So I can't really talk about the quality of the translations. But over the last year or so, depending on when you receive this transmission, Norfolk has been making sure that they are of high quality, so I'm just gonna take their word for it and hopefully not regret it in the future. But no matter how good the translations are, if the fundamental systems suck, so will they. And you can bet that I'm gonna whine about them until my last breath, which could be in a couple of minutes, so I'm gonna have to make this short. Maybe you'll surprise me for once. Old friend. Having text elements scattered all over the project files is a bit impractical, which is why most games store them in one place. A lot of developers use Excel spreadsheets that they later convert to a CSV or a TSV file that can be easily loaded by any application, or at least it seems like it should be easy to load. Then there are those that use JSON. However, SCP Secret Lavatory has decided to create its own proprietary system, which splits its elements by category into individual files that can be easily edited outside of the game by any player that is willing to do so. But if we take a look inside these files, we will find something strange. You see, most games use tags in order to identify which element belongs where, but strangely, there is nothing like that in here. This is because SL decided to use line numbers instead, meaning that if you simply press enter, you will shift every translation in the game. However, there are the exceptions of items.txt, which uses numbers at the beginning of every entry, and these files that cycle for an unspecified amount of lines. But you might have noticed that most games are only translated partially, and generally stray away from things like textures. Why? Well, let's look at it practically. Translated images take more people and time to make, and compared to text, they take up a lot more space, so in certain scenarios, they could weigh more than the rest of the game. Ignoring certain translations is a common way of saving time and money. But Northwood in particular outdid themselves in this department. When you open the pause menu while the game is in French, you might quickly realize that it might not be that difficult of a language. And that's because translations aren't loaded properly in all places, or in the case of the operational guide, they don't even exist. There is no operational guide.txt file anywhere, meaning that no matter the language, it will always be in English. Some of you out there might already be jumping at your screens, yelling that the sheer extent of substance to be transcribed is of effort beyond what the creators can facilitate, especially when taken into account that the guidance of operations primary job is to be kept up to date, along with the rest of this joy-wielding commodity that you discuss in your piece of creative work. The problem with that statement is that we're talking about the tutorial. This is the first thing that should be translated in any game. And even if this was an acceptable excuse, why won't you even allow your community to change this thing? You know how much editing time that would save me? I'm sorry I'm talking about this thing again, but it's just so pointless that I can't help myself. But you know what? I let it slide. Because this isn't even the worst egregious of examples. A couple of updates ago, this photosensitivity warning was added to the game. See? Northwood isn't evil, they truly care about their English player base. No, I did only mean English, because if we change the language to Russian, you will see that... Oh. <laughs> you think you can just update your little game while I work on these videos, do you? 
Well, sorry, mate, but I am the host here and I define the truth. So this is in fact in English and your Russian fan base is dead. You and your fancy suits thinking you can just completely invalidate my point right as I'm about to finish my work? Well, I'm not gonna let you do that that easily. So, dear viewer of mine, I decided to keep track of every occurrence of such a kind that I could find and that hasn't been spontaneously changed on a whim. So let us scavenge through my probably shallow vaults. Shall we? They are everywhere. While validating, in the main menu, on the loading screen, settings, the voice chat prompt, the remote admin, well, I suppose the remote admin is a tool, so it doesn't need to be translated. Except that Northwood translated class names on this screen. No, it's not reading from the rest of the game, it has its own dedicated file. It's a singular instance of a remote admin translation. Why? I wonder what these colorful names mean. Oh, wait, uh, I can't read this. Press F1 for help. Oh, how strange. It's like I changed the keybind for that, but the game didn't notice. If you ever feel like you're useless, please remember that the translation file for the intercom sign exists. I would like to give a massive shout out to this prompt. The header is translated, but the description always stays the same. But you can't even get mad at that. I mean, just look at it. Voice chat, press N to open the player list. It's just so fitting, like a perfect way to end an email. Well, I didn't have high hopes anyway. But hey, at least we can translate the majority of the game, so technically, now I'm able to finally provide an official translation for my native language of Kazakh Avokala. Oh. It would appear like the fonts of your world don't support the characters required for it to work. Speaking of which, how do games support other languages that also contain different letters? To find a font that supports every language is really difficult. If you want it to look cool, it gets even worse. So instead, most games change their fonts depending on the language by defining fonts per translation or by allowing loading of other fonts. However, SL is made with Unity that has a couple of tricks up its sleeves. Whenever the text system finds missing characters, it will first try to find a replacement in one of the fallback fonts that can be specified per project or per font. So the alpha warhead sign automatically switches from VCR OSD mono to Noto Sans regular if your language is set to Russian. Yes, I did check that, and now you know about it as well. And with that, congratulations! You've gathered all the knowledge required to become a true translator for the most popular multiplayer SCP game in the world. Now that's a qualification worth putting on your resume. But be careful, young one, as these waters tend to be quite murky. Since translations don't use IDs, you can easily get lost in what you're writing, especially if you're trying to make a cult. Not to mention the sheer amount of obsolete fields and files. Sometimes Northwood accidentally shifts everything, leaving you. Press N to open the player list. And since the game is using font fallbacks, we have no way of forcing the main menu to use Northtree regular. So the question is, can you do it better? Maybe let's step away from a cell for once and look at a better example. In this game the... Oh, not this thing. Jeez, how am I even supposed to talk about this? C can I even show it? You know, scratch this. I am terribly sorry, I have no idea how this thing ended up here. But I can assure you one thing, that I will ne- <gasps> SHINY! Oh, there's like a translation app included with the game. Huh. Yeah, I think we do need to take a closer look. You might recognize this game as word could around that it features a close relationship between a brother and a sister that some could argue is a bit too close. But it also features a very robust translation system, even though currently you have to download other languages externally. There is a teeny tiny application hidden in the game's files that lets you generate a blank translation in any format you desire. It also decompiles certain sprites that feature words and even lets you replace fonts, meaning that with a bit of work, we could finally make an official translation for Kazukawa Kala. Yes, we're in. And with plans on further improving the translation up, I can only see this game getting better. On a technical level, of course, but also... I'm a bit confused now. I originally wanted to include this thing here to make fun of SL by comparing it to something made for the mentally deranged, but I had to quickly rewrite that part of the script because this is just a normal game. Unless you're an idiot, you can clearly see that these are bad people and you shouldn't do what they are doing. And for as much as the game gets flack, 
its rating is still overwhelmingly positive, so I guess most people complaining never actually bother to even play the thing. So why? If you want to be mad at something, go at it. You have so many different options these days, but why are you wishing for the death of someone who made an indie game on a platform that silences people in a browser that spies on you? It's a decent game, and I'm interested in seeing how it's gonna turn out when it fully releases. Since Nowfoot is unlikely to fix their system anytime soon, if we want a change, we'll have to make it ourselves. Since I know a thing or two about making computer things, why not create my own translation tool, all while being paid the standard Nowfoot developer salary? But don't worry, I don't need the money. I think two salty crackers is plenty enough for dinner. Well, allow me to overwhelm you with my vast knowledge and experience as I go into creating this incredible and well-put-together piece of software that could only be materialized by an individual who possesses immense talent, such as I. Seeing how people these days make their own complicated translations with emojis and images, a simple generation window won't cut it this time. We need live previews, effects, and the whole shabang. And that's precisely what I've made. During this, I've learned quite a lot about how SL works behind the scenes, with most of it... Eh. Listen, I could go on at length about all the different kinds of junk I found, but no. I respect you, Norfolk. So I'm not gonna talk about how there's a typo in SP-079 translation, nor about all the different misaligned labels I found in the inventory. No! I simply refuse. Although... I could mention how the descriptions of F1 menu abilities can be cut off by a colon, or about all the different inconsistent labeling of translation files. Maybe... Maybe I could even highlight the randomness of how dynamic values are represented. Anyway, all that crap gets handled by me and the Magismo, and you... Well, you get to admire this beauty. Every entry is labeled and categorized, and you can preview some of them right in the app. While translating, you can see the thing you're actually trying to translate, and all of the available dynamic value tags with a description of what they represent. With additional features such as text gradient, backwards compatibility, exporting and importing to other formats such as CSV and only CSV, what more could you possibly want? And with this game-breaking issue sorted, I think we can finally call it playable. I wonder what the gameplay is like. But it will appear like our oxygen has run out. Oh. Luckily my vessel doesn't require it, but it's still a nice to have. 